Joining us now, former acting ICE director Ron Vitello. Should we shut the border now? That's a debate. House conservatives demand Homeland Security Secretary Mayorkas secure the border, warning that thousands of terrorists released in Afghanistan, Ron, know about historic weakness at the border. Should we shut it now? One side said that's an overreaction. The other side says do it now. What do you say? Well, we should certainly do better than we're doing if it relates to the policies and encouraging people to bring their children or their families to the border. So, so we know that cartels, criminal organizations, and terrorists are going to exploit the weaknesses in all of our defenses, whether that's national defense as it, as it relates to our military power or homeland defense, the things that are going on on the border. So we could put policies back in place. Congress could write laws and legislate the migrant uh, protection program, or we could do something to stop this crush of humanity that we're seeing on television each and every day at the border, well over a billion apprehensions that we passed in June, um, and no end in sight, no end in sight. More people coming from more places all over the globe uh, on top of the pandemic, on top of, uh, you know, the disaster that's yeah. ongoing in Afghanistan. Security officials say, some of them say, yes, shut it down now, that this feels like 1998 again when the Clinton administration was apprised of the fact that uh, Al Qaeda was going to move against us, and there were warnings out there. There was the earlier, the first World Trade Center attack, then 9 11. The New York Times are already reporting migrants from more than 150 countries have already crossed. Do you think we should shut it down now, yes or no? Yes, we, we should secure the border in every way possible. Uh, what we're seeing on the southwest border will and is being exploited by criminal cartels, and there's no reason to think that others won't do the same thing. All right, so what, you, what was your reaction when you heard the Supreme Court put a temporary hold on that lower court decision that ordered the Biden administration to reinstate Trump's Remain in Mexico policy? It looks like the Supreme Court is going to take this on. What's your reaction to this story? Well, I'm eager for them to take it on. I'm glad states like Texas are fighting on all of our behalf to reinstate policies that, would, that we're preventing this surge, this crush of humanity that we're seeing at the border every day now. The, the migrant protection protocols were instituted with Mexico in January of 2019. It took several months and, in fact, a threat of tariffs with Mexico for them to fully implement it. But when they did fully implement it, we went into the spring of that year, the spring of 20, with unprecedented lows in crossings and activity because of that program. And so reinstating it via the Supreme Court would be a way for us to get out of the disaster that we're in on our southwest border right now. You know, we, the Americans feel for refugees. They're an open-arms country about immigration. They, they want to take in people. The problem is when people do it illegally, they get killed along the way. They get assaulted along the way, thousands of people. So, you know, the other thing, too, is, Ron, up until about seven, eight years ago, it was only migrants from Mexico illegally crossing. Then it became Central America. Then it became South America. Now it's more than 150 countries, including the Middle East, Asia, and Eastern Europe. That's the trend. What do you say to that? Yes, this problem is very different than it was a couple of decades ago when most of the traffic along the southwest border was people from Mexico. Uh, now the, the, the Northern Triangle is heavily, heavily predominates the numbers, and then 150 other countries as well. That just proves what we know about these policies. We've sent a signal across the globe for people to come to the border now because we were supposed to be more fair. It's not fair to the people who are waiting in line. It's not fair to the people who get trafficked on the way. It's not fair to border communities who are inundated with this traffic and people coming across the border with, no, with inadequate facilities and inadequate medical care. It's not fair to them. And so getting a handle on, on that border sooner than later is, is in all of our interests. You worried about them crossing, coming in from through Panama up and up? I mean, or coming in via, you know, uh, that a terrorist could pay a human smuggler to say, get me in? Are you worried about that? that that's a challenge. That's a challenge, because what we're seeing now is if you make it into this hemisphere, you're, you're quite likely uh, to make it across the, the U.S.-Mexico border. And so when you have the chaos that's Our, ongoing right now, and you have the Border Patrol distracted with all of this traffic, that, that possibility exists.
Okay, Ron Vitello, thank you for the warning there and your information. It's good to see you, and thank you so much for joining us. Um,